today I'm going to do some pollinating of some flowers to try and get some African violet seed pods happening. Um, the way you do this is I've shown you in a previous video how to collect the pollen sacs from the flowers. Um, you'll need to, when you collect the pollen sacs, you need to get a little scalpel blade and cut them in half. And when you cut them in half, that releases the tiny fine powder of pollen. If you don't cut them in half, you won't release the pollen and it won't fertilize the flowers. So it's really important to do that. Um, so what we do is you just need a little fine brush. So, and you collect the pollen sacs from the old African violet flowers and you fertilize the young new African violet flowers and that'll give you the best chance to get some pollen sacs. So, so I've got my brush here and you just and we'll do this flower here I think this one just gently brush the end of the female part of the African violet flower gently touch it with your pollen on a nice fine brush you have to be very careful because if you damage it or anything it won't work and then you can also flick it and when you flick it can you see the powder coming off there that's the pollen so you can see how fine and tiny it is so the end of that female part there is really really sticky and you want the pollen to attach to that female part So we might do another flower. There's another young flower here. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky because you can see that the female part there is a little bit <laughs> up against the edge. So I don't know if it'll work, but we will give it a go. Another flower around here, which is a young flower, just down there. We can't see the female stalk on that, so we might swap to a different one. Now it's the 9th of August now, so I'm going to do this every day for the next few days probably for the next week. And monitor it over time and I'll show you as it goes and hopefully we will get some African violet seed pods developing. Now usually they develop, I would think within the next three weeks we should have some if we're going to, if it's going to work. Now I'm using pollen from a range of different African violet plants, a whole mixture of different colours, just for a bit of fun to see what happens. This one here is not open enough yet, so we'll leave that one. Some of these are right up against the edge and it can be a little bit hit and miss with African violets whether you will get seed pods or not and sometimes you might get a seed pod developing and it won't actually be a seed pod it'll be sort of a false seed pod so it might end up looking like a, a really really large seed pod if it, it won't actually have fertilized properly and it won't have any seeds in it and sometimes you'll get a seed pod coming and then it won't actually have won't actually have um, seeds in it which can be a little bit upsetting when you've 
spent a lot of time waiting and then you get no seeds. Like this one over here I think so you can see the little fine powder coming off that's the pollen the little like, like dust the little fine dust so what I might do too is just give a general little flick of pollen over all the flowers that are there even the ones that are a little bit older, I don't think when, when they're a little bit older, they're usually a bit past and you won't get anything happening from it. But I'll give it a try. It's always a bit of an experiment whether you do get anything from it. But that's the joys of trying to hybridize an African violet. So this one's just a, a straight white African violet, annoyed, annoyed. so it's got no identification. Um, and I'm pollinating it, cross-pollinating it with uh, just a variety of about 10 different coloured African violet plants. And it'll be really interesting to see if we get anything from it or not, any seeds. So that might be the last, we'll do one more, one more on these ones here, and these ones here. And that might do it for today. And then I'll do this every single day for the next few days, well, probably over the next five days, and see if, and in the next, and I'll monitor it over the next few weeks. I'll keep you updated on how it's going, and and hopefully within the next three weeks, we should see something starting to happen, some little tiny seed pods starting to happen. So keep our fingers crossed. It's always a bit hit and miss, you never know if it's going to work, but fingers crossed, hopefully we get some seed pods. Um, the other thing with seed pods that's really important too is that you have to be really, really patient because they can take up to five months to finish developing. So it can be quite a slow process and takes a lot of patience. And um, But well worth it, I think, to get those seed pods and then to be able to plant those seeds that you've created. It's it's really, really rewarding, very rewarding hobby. So fingers crossed and hopefully we will get some seed pods from this. Thank you for watching.